Jesus says, I am the way for you. And so we come to follow Christ. Jesus says, I am the truth for you. And so we come to dwell in the light. Jesus says, I am the life for you. And so we come, leaving behind all to which we cling. Good morning. Today is the feast day of a Roman Catholic saint, Saint Jane Francis de Chantal. Jane formed a religious order for those considered worthless, for those considered forgotten. She is in fact the patron saint of forgotten people. And this morning I'm going to pray a liturgy and some prayers that are slightly unorthodox. And as we pray this morning, as we come together before God, let's lift to him all who are forgotten those who wait in the queue at the food bank, those who cross dangerous seas in rubber boats, those who we walk by and don't notice. In God, no one is forgotten. We're going to begin with a reading from Mark chapter three, beginning at verse 31. Then Jesus's mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around him and they told him, your mother and brothers are outside and they're looking for you. Who are my mother and my brothers, he asked. Then he looked around at those seated in a circle around him and said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and my sister and my mother. We're going to affirm our faith in God. We are not alone, we live in God's world. We believe in God, who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and in others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope in life, in death, in life beyond death. God is with us. We are not alone. We are not forgotten. Thanks be to God. Amen. A few days ago, I was asked to go to one of our churches because some people were there who had been sleeping rough. I was told that they were acting as if they had no respect for the church. And when I got there, they actually were a very respectful little group. One of them was asleep on a bench. It was quite early in the morning. And as he woke up, he looked at me and he greeted me by name. Good morning, Lincolns, he said. And I greeted him by name too. Good morning. And he then looked at me and focused on me quite deliberately. And he said, Lynn, was yesterday the feast of the Transfiguration? And I said, yes, it was. No respect for the church, but a keen faith in God. No one in Christ 
is forgotten. No one in Christ is beyond ministering to us as that man ministered to me that morning. I'm going to pray some prayers now. It's called a prayer for living dangerously. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have made it abundantly clear that you are distinctly unimpressed if all we are prepared to do is pay easy lip service to you. For you are a demanding God, constantly challenging us to be action men and women, doers as well as thinkers and talkers. You want us to be outraged when we hear of inequality and unfairness and make a stand when we witness callousness and lack of concern. You urge us to be activists in your cause that strives for justice, which is the birthright of all people who live on the earth. When the poor and weak are ignored, inspire us to fight their corner for them. When outcasts are despised and discarded, irritate us until we make sure they are welcomed and accepted. When the hungry are starving and paupers are penniless and the cheated swindle time and time again, give us the will and the energy and the means to support them. Give us the determination to persuade others to do the same thing. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, you walked hand in hand with the underdogs. You were fed at the tables of those in society who were shunned and rejected. You knew the friendship and appreciation of the hurting and the suffering ones. They ministered to you. They gave you dignity and treated you to their love. So help us to have the grace to recognise that the weak can make us strong. The have-nots can enrich the living of those who have. And may we have the good sense to understand that sitting in a cosy armchair doing absolutely nothing is no better than holding pious opinion from the comfortable position of a respectable church pew. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Look at your hands. See the touch and the tenderness. God's hands for the world. Look at your feet, see the path and the direction. God's feet in the world. Look at your heart, see the fire and the love. God's heart for the world. Look at the cross, see God's son and our saviour. God's own for the world. This is God's world and we will serve God in it. May the Creator bless you. May God the Son walk with you. May God the Spirit lead your lives with love. Amen.